Welcome to this video tutorial on how to perform an advanced search in Pedro, the Physiotherapy Evidence Database. You can access the advanced search by clicking on the search button in the header and footer of the Pedro website or the search wedge in the Pedro navigation wheel on the home page. The Pedro advanced search page has 13 fields that you can use to enter search terms generated from your clinical question. But it is important to note that you do not need to enter search terms in every field on the advanced search page. Specifying terms in one to three fields is usually sufficient. Six fields have pull down lists that you can choose from. These are indicated by the arrow symbol. For example, the pull down list for the body part field contains the different anatomical regions that might be the focus of your intervention from the head or neck down to the foot or ankle. This field is particularly useful if your clinical question relates to the treatment of a musculoskeletal condition. You can select a term by clicking on it. You cannot select more than one term from each pull down list. Three fields let you enter numbers or dates. These let you identify articles that are published in or after a particular year, added to Pedro since a particular date, or for trials only, have a minimum cutoff value for the total Pedro score. Four fields allow you to type text into them. For example, you can search for words that appear in the abstract or title of an article in this abstract and title field. Generally, it is most efficient to search by typing one or two words into the abstract and title field. You need to use English words in these text fields because most of the database behind Pedro is in English. For example, searching for incontinentia in the abstract and title field will return no articles. In contrast, searching for incontinence returns hundreds of articles. If you type non-English letters into text fields, you will receive an error message reminding you to remove any non-English letters. Words are automatically combined with AND within each text field. You do not need to type Boolean operators such as AND, OR, or NOT into a text field. The use of brackets to group words is also unnecessary. If you type Boolean operators or brackets in a text field, they get treated as additional search terms. To highlight this, an error message prompting you to amend your search will appear if there are Boolean operators or brackets in a text field. Removing the Boolean operators and brackets will improve your Pedro search. Typing just multiple sclerosis aerobic fatigue is sufficient. Remember, the words you type are automatically combined with AND. You may have noticed that two words, multiple sclerosis, were placed in quotation marks in the revised search terms. This is called phrase searching. Phrase searching combines two or more terms into a single term and is done by placing double quotation marks around the words. This is useful when a specific construct, like multiple sclerosis, involves more than one word. Before starting your search, it is best to think about the question you are asking, as this will help you choose the best search terms. To demonstrate how to search Pedro, we will use the clinical question, in people with Parkinson's disease, does training using visual or auditory cues reduce the risk of having a fall compared to usual care? This question is in PICO format, which makes the question more precise. PICO is the acronym for Patient Intervention Comparator Outcome. The patient is people with Parkinson's disease. The intervention is training using visual or auditory cues. The comparator is usual care and the outcome is having a fall. Here are four search terms we could consider using. They correspond to the four components of the PICO question. By default, Pedro will search for an exact word match in text fields. Often it is useful to search for a number of variations of a word. You can look for variations at the end of a word by using an asterisk to indicate any letter or group of letters. This is a type of wildcard called truncation. For example, Parkinson asterisk will return articles that use the words Parkinson, Parkinson's and Parkinsonism in their title or abstract. Similarly, Q asterisk will return articles that use Q, Qs and Qing. 
and fall asterisk will return articles that use fall, falls and falling. Importantly, you do not need to specify all of the PICO components in your search. Usually just one or two are enough. So before you start your search, you need to stop and think which terms will uniquely and inevitably be associated with the articles you want to find. Enter just those terms in your search. Often a good starting point is to enter terms for the patient and intervention components of your question. Let's start the search by typing Parkinson asterisk Q asterisk in the abstract and title field. Click the start search button to perform the search. The search results page is then displayed. This is a table that contains the title, research method, and for trials only, the total Pedro score of all the articles that fulfill the search criteria. In Pedro, search results are ordered by method, with practice guidelines appearing before systematic reviews, then clinical trials. Cochrane reviews are listed before reviews published in other journals, and trials are ordered by total Pedro score. This means that articles that use more rigorous methods are closer to the top of the list of search results. When I ran the search in March 2021, there were 60 records or articles that contain words starting with Parkinson and Q in the title or abstract. The two search terms we entered are automatically combined with AND. 60 articles is a lot, too many to read to answer the clinical question. Use the back button in your browser or click the Continue Searching Advanced hyperlink to return to the search page and make the search more precise by adding some more search terms. Let's look at the question again. We have already used the patient and intervention components for search terms. Of the remaining PICO components, which will uniquely and inevitably be associated with the articles we want to find? In this example, the term for outcome is more relevant. Let's rerun the search by typing Parkinson asterisk Q asterisk fall asterisk into the abstract and title field. Click the start search button to perform the search. When I ran the search in March 2021, there were 16 articles that contain words starting with Parkinson, Q and fall in the title or abstract. Again, the three search terms we entered are automatically combined with AND. 16 articles is a reasonable number of articles to consider. To answer this clinical question, we typed three words in the abstract and title field. You can also specify search terms using fields that have pull-down lists. We'll illustrate this by using the PICO question. In older women with stress incontinence, does adding biofeedback to pelvic floor exercise reduce the loss of urine compared to pelvic floor exercise only? Again, this gives us four options to choose from when selecting search terms. The patient is older women with stress incontinence. The intervention is adding biofeedback to pelvic floor exercise. The comparator is pelvic floor exercises only, and the outcome is loss of urine. Terms in two fields with pull-down lists can be combined to define the patient. Incontinence in the problem field and gerontology in the subdiscipline field. Text could be used for the other PICO components. You may have noticed that one of the possible search terms starts with an asterisk. This is another type of truncation, but this time we are looking for variants at the start of a word. We can retrieve all articles that contain words ending in feedback by typing asterisk feedback. For example, asterisk feedback will include feedback, biofeedback and myofeedback. So which terms will uniquely and inevitably be associated with the articles we want to find with this PICO question? Let's start with the patient and intervention components. For the patient, select incontinence in the problem field and gerontology in the subdiscipline field. For the intervention, type asterisk feedback in the abstract and title field. Click the start search button to run the search. When I ran the search in March 2021, there were 18 articles that fulfilled the search criteria. This is a reasonable number of articles to consider. Because articles that use more rigorous methods are closer to the top of this list of search results, you can scan down the list of titles until you see one that appears to answer the question. 
the trial entitled A Comparison of Effectiveness of Biofeedback and Pelvic Muscle Exercise Treatment of Stress Incontinence in Older Community-Dwelling Women looks relevant. Clicking on the title hyperlink will take you to the detailed search results page that includes the citation, abstract, links to full text and, for trials, a breakdown of the PEDRO score. Read the abstract to confirm that the article answers the clinical question. When you decide on the best article to read, you can access a full text copy of the article using the links under the abstract. We have just demonstrated how to do a PEDRO advanced search. Start by thinking about your question. We suggest using a PICO format. This will make it easier to choose search terms to find research that answers your clinical questions. But remember, you don't need to specify all of the PICO components in your search. Searching can be enhanced by using truncation and phrase searching in text fields. We have demonstrated how to avoid some common errors in PEDRO searching. These include using Boolean operators, brackets and non-English words or letters in text fields. One of our searches produced a large number of search results. To overcome this, we made our search more precise by adding extra search terms. The opposite can also occur. If your search returns too few articles or no articles at all, you can make your search broader by removing or amending the search terms. We hope you have found this tutorial on how to perform an advanced search in Pedro useful.